and he's showing me this real blade and firearm. So, what caliber is this? This is a 45 caliber okay. black powder muzzle loader. Yeah. So it does take a compression cap. And it's actually a real knife and firearm. Well, I know they don't call uh, black powder firearms, but you know what I mean. The texturing on the hammer, really good. Has a nice click to it. The wood, really nice, very, very ergonomic in the hand. You do feel like you can thrust with it and slice with it very well. You have a nice balance there, actually. You wouldn't think that you could ever put a blade and a firearm together and it actually feel functional. This feels very solid. Um, have these ever been like tested on any channels or anything? On any channels? I've well, got a yeah. YouTube videos that came from shooting them okay. as far as testing goes. I was also the one, this is very similar to the weapon that I made on Master of Arms okay. on Discovery Channel in 2018. Yes, sir. Yeah, I would love to, to, to test these out on the channel, man. Um, how does this one work? Show me how this one works. Once again, it's a 45 caliber muzzle. Okay. Pour in your powder, yep. your ball, and put your percussion cap right there. Got right you. There. Wow. That is so cool. So again, we have a hatchet and a 45 cal. Wow. And a spike on that end. That's really cool. Oh, I love that. That is wicked. All right. I'm at Mountain Range Forge, and we are checking out some of their crazy stuff. What is this bone from? An ostrich? It's an ostrich bone. That's awesome. I've always wanted to try an ostrich egg. Yeah, oh man, feed, feed the whole family. That just was wicked. Look at that. Big old thick bone. We have like a small katana here. It's a wakazashi. A wakazashi. Very nice. I'm actually about to do a video um, where I freehand sharpen a full sword, a full katana, yeah, yeah. and I'm gonna test it. We're gonna make a full set. Are you? Okay, cool. Look at that. Oh, that just looks like it'll it's sharp too. I think we'll. There you go. Yeah. Same thing with the other one with the antenna. I love it. I absolutely love it. Uh, see how that like that. And we have another dagger here. What is this right here? Just two horns that we horns. Oh, it's horns. Okay, yeah. I got gotcha. you. Got the bone handle. This just looks primitive. I love it. All right, now we'll try out some of their small little fixies. These are really, really cool. These look like they're like half primitive and half modern. I love that. Is it gonna go all the way up? Oh, there we go. Yeah. Look at the, oh my goodness. Probably shouldn't have done this. Probably shouldn't have let me have this. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Yeah. Look at how big that is. It actually got a nice balance for how big it is. Very thin. I love that. That's beautiful. Mm. 
What was it, 3,000 year old bog oak? 3,000 year old bog oak. Hey, what's up, bud? Cool. So this one is the Dark Fire. It's probably going to be Winter Blade's first OTF, and it's uh, actually kind of inspired by the Mandalorian uh, Dark Saber. So it's Dark Fire, and uh, it's got uh, kind of a unique blade guard firing mechanism. Wow! And uh, both in and out. That is really cool. It's got little slots for uh, tritium or glow vials there. Yeah. And then on the inside, it's kind of unique too. Instead of uh, like the typical extension spring with L hook. Uh, mechanism. Oh, right. It's uh, got a uh, kind of a simplified mechanism, so very easy to do maintenance on and lube up oh, and right. stuff like that. So, so yeah. But otherwise, just a really fun Check knife. Super excited about it. All right. Oh yeah, it's a nice clean break too. Yeah, oh, I like this that. M390 and uh, yeah. beautiful tanto too. Yeah, this is. It's got. You had a little bit of resistance right there, but once you break that, I mean, it's very clean, and this has got nice texturing, so yep. you can easily retract. This is nice and smooth. It's not like a Microtech where you're, like, struggling to push it. Yeah, the, the blade guard gets, gives you pretty good leverage. That's true, firing, yeah. So. Yep. And the texturing and everything is very nice. Yeah, and it's actually not too bad in the pocket, not as bad as you might think. Um, this blade guard is flush with the top of the scales. Okay. So it actually feels not too bad. You might be surprised. I like how I can just literally do it with my pointer finger. Right, yeah. That's yeah. great. Yeah. Um, this is aluminum? Aluminum, yep, okay. 70, 75 aluminum. Okay, nice. Yep. Action side okay. opening auto. Oh. So, uh, oh, shit. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. What? So two extension springs, one extension spring kicks the blade out, and then okay. the second extension spring pulls the blade back. Did out. you guys see that? So it's a yeah. side auto and a side, my yeah. goodness. And you can that. flick it open if you can get a finger in there. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> and still close it. Yeah, right. That is so wicked. That was my yeah. fault. Yeah. Okay, so, there we go. There you go, yeah, it, it resets. It'll disengage just like an OTF. Yeah. Oh, uh, dude, this is so wicked. Wow. Thank you. It has <laughs> such an interesting feeling to it. Yeah. That was my fault again. I actually entered that one in the uh, in most innovative contest. We'll see how that pans oh, out. Oh, uh, if it doesn't win, you're cheating. <laughs> you're cheating, for sure. Oh, well, thank you. So That's a fun one. Oh, my goodness. This is so unique. I've never seen anything like this. I didn't even, you know, brutal. I mean, you know things are possible, right. but it's like you just don't even think that it's possible. It's, it's, it's exactly my thinking when I kind of came up with the concept. I wasn't sure if it was possible, but managed to work it out somehow. That has got to be the coolest cigar I've ever seen, dude. I've been losing my damn finger. Get out better myself. Get out better myself. deep hollow ground almost like a, a razor type type blade shape it does have a flipping action with i believe it's a crossbar right crossbar lock triple or, bs my own lock oh it's your lock it's yeah. patented yeah. or it's, okay cool how does it work do you have the mechanism oh right here yeah. so basically you're just pulling a pin back it opens up a hole and there's a ball bearing so you got two different size detents in the blade okay small detents holding it closed large detent you actually got a ball bearing dropping in over that pin oh okay so, so you pull down and pulls that bearing back yep that is really cool very interesting i've never seen anything like that good for you on the lot so 
You can see it has a very unique look, mirror polished finish, very thin behind the edge. I know it's fingerprinty, but it makes you want to touch it, it's so thin. Very slicey, and then very easy to actuate. You can reverse flick off the blade because of that hollow. Great flipping action. Because of the leverage point being so high, nice ergonomics. And we move down here, we got... They're all named after cactus. So prickly pear razor, saguaro gentleman. Oh, very cool. Is this the lock the same way? Same yeah, lock? Okay. Except, except it's so, just on the one just side. Just one side, yeah. So same lock, just single-sided. We have a drop point, hollow ground blade, also with the mirror polish, titanium handles. Great flipping action. Oh, and here's another one, a little bit smaller, somewhat of a Spanish razor. That is very cool. I love how slim that is. You can see the blade in them holes right there. Yeah, these are very neat. We have this one right here, the harpoon. Love me a harpoon. Very unique. Then we have the little guy. Check that out. Same locking system. You just pull down and then swing it shut. Very cool. Check them out. Blades do be. All right. We're with Haruka's Blumerous Knives. And I've had his work on the channel a couple times before in the past. This is beautiful work. Absolutely gorgeous. South African custom knives. These are just amazing, amazing knives. The action's insane. And after you've tried one of these, you know like it has just a, it has a feeling and a sound that all, it seems like all of them have. And now he's doing a front flipper. That's very cool. Deep hollow around sheep's feet. You can see the Timask is there. Beautiful. I think that's a Zer Zerkatai uh, bolster. Zerkatai? Yeah. Zirconium. Zirconium. Yes. Yeah, zirconium. Yeah, sorry. Ooh. Oh, it's so smooth. Look at that. That's a new model which I did a collaboration between JBL and myself. Oh, okay. That's the first time I've been on the show. Yes. So, yeah. Oh, I like this this harp. I actually have a, a knife coming out with a harpoon recurved tanto, very similar. Oh, I love that. That is beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? That's a sexy knife right there. Ooh. Oh my goodness. The action and detent is tuned so well. A lot of custom knife makers, you'll notice detents are a little bit on the lighter side. His is literally just, it's perfect. And if you watch my reviews I've done on his knives on the channel, you'll see like, I, I just, I, I go crazy about his action. It's so clean, it's just such a clean break. Can I mess with this one? Oh, look at that. He is an absolute artist. Ooh, <laughs> did you hear that? Listen to that. See, we, I don't know if that's gonna come over the mic, but it is beautiful sounding. Look at that, oh my goodness. Oh yeah, look at this. Look at all this work. Ooh, can you get that, can you see that? Focus yeah, no, no, just, yeah, go ahead, focus it really well. Oh my goodness, that is just gorgeous. That is beautiful. Man, let's check out a couple of these ones down here. Oh man, that detent, man. It's so, oop, nice strong one on this one. Listen to that sound again. Beautiful knife. All right, we are at High Koa, and these guys are doing primitive weapons. And what was this piece again? This is a Marlin bill. It's a Marlin bill, and you can see the texture around the edges. Right, it's very rough, almost like like sharp sandpaper, or just like sandpaper. Sandpaper is sharp, so it feels just like sandpaper. Then we have shark teeth, and then this is uh, coal wood. We have coal wood with the shark's teeth. And this thing just looks brutal, man. 
Oh, yeah. good weight to it. And we got this guy right here. Oh, it's it's very light. Yeah, it has a perfect weight for slashing. You could be fast with this, really yeah. fast. Oh, yeah. oh man. This style was reserved for elders because the oh, hollow oh, inside oh, oh, yeah. had some really good weight reduction to it. Yeah, dude. And you can grab it two-handed. This is very cool. The more teeth, the more respected of an elder you were. Is that how it was? So you want as many teeth as possible. <laughs> Make it as big as possible. These things are nice and sharp too. You can tell. Oh my! Oh my goodness! Irreversible repairs. That would be so nasty. Yeah, big difference between a clean cut and a nasty cut. Yeah, that's very cool. And this guy. Oh my goodness! That is just wicked. It's almost like you use both ends. So right. Yeah, oh my goodness. This is very, very cool. And then we got a small one. This is my modern rendition. This is your, okay. That is very cool. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Look at this koa. Get that koa, look at that. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. Focus, baby. Get that call real quick. And then I want to get um, some B-roll real quick of this. So click off. We are at Edgy Blade Works with Scott. How you doing, Scott? What's up, bro? Good, man. Man, we're checking out some of his knives. Uh, I've had them on the channel, at least one of them. And yeah, I freaking dig it. The shape and style of these knives is just... It's like no other, which is what I love about it. It's unique, it's different. It's not the same thing over and over and over. You can find him on Instagram, Edgy Blade Works. Um, where else can they find you? Uh, really just Instagram and Instagram? I'm on Facebook. Do you, I'll have a website here in just a couple months. So. Okay, so he's getting a website started um, hopefully in a couple months. Otherwise, just get a hold of him on Instagram, which is probably the best way anyway to get a hold of any maker. <laughs> Um, then we, we've had one of these on the channel, which I freaking love this thing. It's so ergonomic, and that blade shape, you know, it looks wicked, but it's much more useful than you might think. Rolling. So these are obviously up for bid, but it is a liner lock. Check this out. Automatic. Look at the size of this thing. This thing is an absolute boat. I feel like, I feel like I'm holding a pistol right now. Seriously. Look at that beautiful carbon fiber. And we got another version right here. Look at that grind. That is sick. Then look at this behemoth. <laughs> yes, this is definitely going into our craziest knives video. Look at that flipper tab. Man, you just feel like you want to chop a tree down right now. Man, I like this little hawk bill. Oh, this is nasty. Makes me just want to cut something up. Got a little, uh, little felon feel to it. Huh? A little felon, yeah. Feels like I want to, I want to do it. Uh, this one's getting some stick. Um, definitely makes me feel like I want to commit some felonies. There we go. All right, ooh, look at that the big one. What is the name of this? Let's look at the name really quick. What is the name? Gator Bud. Huh? No, no, this uh, is Jeff. Oh, Bader. here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Get that. Let me get in on that. He took off the inner one of his knives in one of the cups. Vander Mullen Blade Works. Yes. I think that's a six or seven inch instigator. My goodness, that's big. The instigator. You that's got a great name. Oh, that was my oh. fault. I was looking at the camera. Look you at this. You better put that fail in. Yeah, I will. <laughs> Look at the size of that thing. Oh, my goodness. That's all the knife right there. That is all knife, yeah, for sure. That is all of the knife. Do you need any more knife than that? No, you don't. Not at but all. you might want it. <laughs> Absolutely. That's great. I like how this um, is almost like a pistol grip. I love that. That's beautiful. Ooh, that had a great detent. Look at that Tonto. Yeah, that's sick. Oh, yeah. It's got the little fixed blade version. Oh yeah, you definitely do damage with that. I mean, look at these guys. Oh yeah, a little chunker. That feels good in the hand, though. 
Oh my goodness, look at this guy. Look at that buoy. Oh, what a flipper. That's a comfortable flipper right there. Wow, that's nice. Very comfortable, very cool. Try to get these grind lines. These are very smooth. Those are nasty. And then check these out. We got the skulls. Or you can This is kind of sharp too. Then we got a smaller one right here. He's like right in the front. Don't go all the way over the knuckles. Yeah, that's aggressive. That's that very good. And then we have a pizza cutty. That's awesome. We needed this the other day. Yeah, we did. That is very cool. Papa John's in Atlanta doesn't cut their pizza very well. <laughs> All right, we are at Gun Fighter Customs. It's a veteran-owned company. And we're checking out some of his models. Oh my goodness, is this my style? It's almost like a almost like a pistol grip, where it just you know you feel like you have a lot of thrust going you know forward in the forward grip and in the reverse grip. Same thing with like a back punch or a, you know a hammer fist. You got jumping on the spine right there, double hollow, um, double edge and double hollow. So we have a hollow here and a hollow here. Nice and thin blade. The, the butter, it's butterscotch my card, right? The butterscotch my card of this stuff. This stuff is seamless, man. It looks so good. It's very clean, very ergonomic. Just fits perfectly in the hand. This thing makes you want to go and poke something. Then we have a couple more here. We got punch dagger, double edge punch dagger. So actually triple edge, if you think about it, you got the Tonto on the top. So this is a real reverse Tonto, guys. I say this all the time, people call sheep's foots reverse Tontos. This is a real reverse Tonto because you have it sharpened on the spine. And it's also got a little bit of a hawk bill, slightly. So it's in depth with pulling materials. When you get that tip in, it's just gonna kind of drag it in, just pull it into the edge. Beautiful handle, very, very comfortable. Very nice. And then we have a couple more fixed blades here. Same butterscotch micarta. Looks really, really good. It's, uh, and then I want to check these two out. And then we have these two guys. This one is a chisel grind. You got a recurved tanto there. Oh, that carbon fiber is beautiful. That's got to be for the thumb. Oh, yeah, that's nice. And then we have this double-edged dagger with a dual hollow. Again, man, very, very good in the reverse grip or the forward grip, really. You got some texturing right here to kind of lock you in. Nice and thin blade. Yeah, this would definitely uh, go into something very easily and open something up very wide. Oh my goodness, look at that grind. That is just gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Very unique. Look at this dragon. A little bit different blade shape on that one. Almost a zero grind. Then we have this guy with the, the bayonet. Oh wow, look at that. Here's where his flipper tab lands. Way down there. And this is Marco Knives. Marco Knives. I've never even heard of these guys. This green micarta is gorgeous. Very, oh, very thin hollow grind. Let me just wipe off my prints. Just in case they stab somebody later. <laughs> um, I think that's beautiful too. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. That is gorgeous. Look at that. That locks in. I'm normally not a fan <clears throat> of the stops, but I like this a lot. All right, let's check this guy out now. This is the first thing that caught my eye, is this, you know, you could call it a straight, woo! Oh my goodness, that is sharp. Yeah, somebody sharpens by hand or fixed it. It might be, a, oh, it's by hand. It's definitely a hand sharpened edge. They did a damn good job on it. 
Um, this is a friction folder. So, you know, you can actually twist it all the way around just like a real shaver would be, you know. Um, you can see the inlay, the pin. It's beautiful. So that is Marco knives. Marco knives, yeah. Oh, look at this, this white G10. My goodness, that's gorgeous. What's the name of this one? I don't know. I touched this knife this morning. Okay. It's just a sample. Okay. So it's just a sample? Take it from uh, China. I yeah, like it. Very, nice. very, very cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's very nice. So I got this one on the kit with the box. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Just a little bit cracking. Oh, yeah. Everything needs a little so, bit, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Let me get up. What? Sasa. Sasa. Gotta get a Sasa. All right, very cool. All right, we are with Richmond Knives once again to look at his crazy, crazy knives. Look at this. Woo, that's a guillotine. You can see all the machining and oh my goodness, look at this. Look at that hollow grind. Talk about a wicked design. That sound. You gotta love that sound. Yeah, hopefully it's coming over the mic. Nice deep hollow, and you can see all the other ones we got. Uh, what do you guys call this one? The, the, the shape. The hatchet, so it's a folding hatchet. And boy, is it. And they did a damn good job sharpening that. Now, when somebody asks you to open up their bag of chips and you pull that out, definitely gonna have a surprise to their face. Oh yeah, look at that. Very smooth, very snappy. Great work. Oh, I didn't even see that one. Whoa, look at that guy. Got a dual, double hollow, dual ground Tonto, and it is a guillotine once again. Listen to that sound again. That's awesome. That is so nice. You gotta love that. Look at that spine. Oh, God. Looks like Fred Flintstone made it. You got a double. Oh, my goodness. You ready? <laughs> got a double hatchet. Let me get up close on that guy. Yeah. Uh, that's annoying. Check this out. Can you grab this? Oh my goodness. Looks Look like at Donald that. Trump too. Yeah. <laughs> you know your, your viewers like it. I see it. I, I like it. I don't give a shit. I love it. Oh yeah. That's great. <laughs> Definitely. Okay, so we have Mammoth Tooth, then what was this one? This is Tusk. Yeah, Mammoth Tusk. Mammoth Tooth and Moose Antler. Oh, wow. That is just awesome, man. That is great, great work. Holy cow. <laughs> man. Very, very cool. Look at this guy. I love this blade shape right here. That is just, that's my style blade shape right there. Just looks like it wants to go to work. Very cool. Look at these little guys, look at that. Just gorgeous. There's some more koa. Milling on the titanium is amazing. And then check out this a behemoth version. Oh my goodness. This is an absolute monster. Yet it gets down very thin behind the edge. Look at that guy. You can hear this thing, just listen. That is beautiful. Look at that thing. This thing is just an absolute monster. You pull this out of your pocket, you're definitely shocking somebody. But it's so thin, so it's like you actually feel like you could use this thing uh, very easily, like, you know, pass it through materials wise. Now we have a smaller version here. It's got some rockets on there. Looks like the Jetsons, alien stuff. I like it, I like it. We're at the Midgard Messer booth at Blade Show Atlanta 2024 with Matt. Matt, how you doing, man? Doing well, how are you? 
good. And we are checking out some of their knives. Is this a prototype or is this? This is a prototype we're working on. This is a sliding knife, so okay. it's um, a little bit different. A lot of our knives at Midgard's Messer are kind of bigger, chunkier knives. They have interesting mechanisms. Yeah. Um, and so this one is kind of a satisfying. Oh, I like that. That's you know, cool. Kind of like you're like, I don't know, loading a gun or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Really fun to play with and satisfying. Can I try it out? Yeah, go ahead. So it goes like this, and then you click it down. Oh, yeah. that's cool. That was easy too. Yeah. And how do you disengage? Just pop it up. So it's a frame lock. Oh, it's just your frame lock. Oh, yep. that's nifty. So, then you, so you frame lock, oh, push, slide it back, push down, and then, then like flip that. It over. Oh, yep. that is cool. It was like that, and then that yeah. is awesome. Very cool. And then this is a, another really cool knife with interesting geometry. Now this is a super special limited edition, only 13 of these. Right, but you have made. other versions though. We right? have other, yeah, bigger versions of this, but uh, this is the Valhalla. This is a baby Valhalla that's okay. gonna come out later this year uh, in the more typical Midgard's blue. Yep. Uh, so it'll probably be more like this color. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, let's take a look at that really interesting compound movement there. Wow. A lot of moving parts. Yeah. Can you open it up one time? Yep. Look at that. That is very nifty how that works. You have these two tabs on either side. Squeeze those. So yeah, you just squeeze those and then... Alright, can I can try it out? Yeah, you can. Alright, so it goes... You, you just pull straight. Yep. yep. There we go. Up and out. Lock it in place. Oh, that's very cool. It's actually slicing too. Yeah. You squeeze that. Pop it down. And then up. Lock it in. That is so neat. I like that. Let's see what else check we got. That thing out really quick. Yeah, that thing's yeah, pretty yeah. cool. Oh yeah, and you can actually flip it. Put your finger in there. Here's the bigger version of that. Oh, all right, there we go. Wow. Here's the big daddy. All right. I'm play with that. Oh yeah. That is very cool. So it's up like that. Man, that just feels tough. I love that. This is all titanium? Yep. Nice. What blade still are you running on this one? I think that's uh, D2. Okay. Yep. Very cool. Yeah, I like that a lot. What is this thing right here? This is kind of a concealable pen knife. We're calling okay. it the halbard. Oh, wow. Punch dagger. That is dagger, so neat. Glass breaker on one end and then uh, screwdriver bit holder on the other. Yeah, is it just a slip? Yep. Okay. So let's get that. Wow. Let's get a, a picture of this when we're done. I want to use it probably for a thumbnail. Sure. <laughs> that is very cool. I like that. This was aluminum or is this titanium? It's uh, anodized aluminum. Okay, yeah, it feels like it. Yeah, that's really neat. Yeah, it's a nice one. BC. Awesome. And then um, you have this thing. Can you open okay, up so the contraption? Okay, so this is the uh, Hirschfanger. And this is a pantographic knife. And uh, it's kind of uh, inspired by the, like a German paratrooper military knife so gotcha. uh, kind of uh so yeah looks like this when it's all uh closed you got this locking lever here that, that swings down. out and then you uh spread it apart there and it's just like reveals this super long oh, double-sided cool. you know yeah that is neat get uh pocket parang go ahead go ahead so this pocket is parang. Uh, yeah it's kind of like a machete class uh yeah, folding buddy. knife Oh, that is neat. I like that. Super beefy. Oh my goodness. Very so this kind of super beefy for yeah. sure. That exploits there's a law in oh, Germany. Yeah. Where, yeah, that uh, is oh, cool. no, 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 yeah. Oh, oh yeah, you gotta pull down pull the tab. Out. So that kind of is a safety feature to some extent too. Yeah, right? Yeah. It keeps if you something from did happen, right? Yeah. So there's a law in Germany that they li you know, they limit the length of blades that you can carry. However, they when they were writing the laws, they forgot to put a length limitation on folding knives. Okay. Oh, 
So if you make your knife folding, it can be as large as you want. And that still, is so you can neat. Carry it. So nice. very cool. I'm sure they'll be fixing that loophole at some point, but for now, obvious. After this, this is uh, After this it's totally legal to carry in Germany. Let's hope not. Yeah. Right? If you guys want to see some more content from Blade Show, I'm going to put some cards up on the screen. Or if you just want to see some more content from the channel, there's going to be some cards up on the screen for you to click on. Work hard, stay tough. Until next time, peace.